Lumos, welcome back, witches, wizards, and muggles, to a place where we unbox, review, and explore. And today we have a noble collection comparison video. That's right. If you love Lucius Malfoy, I have two of his walking sticks with slight differences, and I'm going to compare them for you right now. Whoa! Okay, let's get right to it. Okay, so I told you I had two different Lucius walking sticks and wands. So, one of them is from Universal Studios, Los Angeles. The other one is straight from the source, no messing around, Noble Collection. Now keep in mind, both of these wands, while bought in different places, are still both Noble Collection. But what are the differences? Well, come on, let me show you. Okay, so like I said, what's the difference? I'm going to show you each one individually, and when we get to the last step, we're going to go crazy and we're going to weigh it. So this wand right here is from Universal Studios, Los Angeles, California. Sorry, it's, it's a little dirty. I don't have any polish. But I'm going to give you a close detail of this. There's a date somewhere on this wand. This wand is a massive 18 inches, the wand itself. Okay, so this is the one from Universal Studios, California. Trying to find a date. Here's a date right here. 2016, right? Let's take out the wand. It comes out very rough. And when I bought this wand from Universal Studios, it needed a lot of touching up right off the bat. This wand also says 2016. But right off the bat, taking this wand in and out of its cane, its walking stick, scratches the wand. So be very, very careful when you take this wand out of its walking stick. And second, this wand, um, it comes apart. Uh, the head comes off. I don't know if you remember when he who must not be named snapped this part off of the wand when he borrowed his wand but it does come all the way apart then you're left with just a snake and then you have the cogs and the screws so I believe the wands are kind of one and the same in this I, I thought they were a little different I didn't know that this one this universal one in particular came apart like this um, so I was a little surprised when I took it down off the display and found out that it does come down but, let me show you something right here. So, oops, sorry. Here is the inside of the walking stick. We put it in there. There's absolutely zero protection offered. And the only, th the only thing holding the one in place are these rubber washers. Granted, you do have to apply a little bit of pressure to get it in there. All right, so let's get to the Noble Collection one. Now, keep in mind, these are both Noble Collection. The products sold at Universal Studios for Harry Potter are Noble Collection. But this one, if I could find a date, this one is 2018. So it seems the most of my stock that I got is 2018. But right off the bat, it's shinier, but that's probably because it's newer. And it's I put it back in the box right after I opened it. But I believe that the walking stick itself is made better. It appears a little bit wider, a little bit thicker, and it looks like it got a little bit more attention. So we'll take a closer look right here. I don't know if you can hear that. It's a magnet. So not only, so the other one actually, now that I look at it closer, the other one, I'll show you. Universal Studios has washers. That's the only thing holding it in. Although you do have to put some force to getting it in there. The Noble Collection doesn't have those washers, which I actually kind of like. It's held inside the walking stick with a magnet. Now this one does the same thing. I will show you. It comes apart just like the other one. So there's really no differences there. Um, take it all the way off. And these cogs come off. But as you see, it, it's cleaner. So I'm not quite sure if it's just because I've had that one displayed on the wall that it's cleaner. 
or like I said, I th it looks like they took their time making this wand. Uh, maybe they gave it a little bit of upgrades. But so far, the quality and the feel of this Noble Collection wand, um, it outperforms the Universal Studios wand. Um, I got this wand solely for the purpose of taking the Universal Studio wand off the wall so I can actually use it. I want to walk around with a walking stick. I want to I be able to bust this out. This is my favorite one by far. Now this one I've noticed is a little bit more, that's dirt, a little bit more robust, I guess you can say. It's, it's stronger. So when I took this out, I didn't have to put any touch-up paints on it. The Universal Studio one, as soon as I took it out, I had to go to the store and get touch-up paint. Uh, there was a lot of scratches from just taking it in and out of the case. Now this one you see right here 2018. Now I feel like this is just a better quality all around. So now we're going to compare the sizes and it appears they are exactly the same height. Let's see if I can get that in frame. They are exactly the same height but you can definitely tell one from the other. Again, Universal, Noble Collection. They are one and the same, but bought at two completely different locations. So, with that being said, one of the things I wanted to do was take the heads of the wands off and weigh them individually. I want to get down to the nitty gritty with these wands, because a lot of you like this wand, and I want to show you exactly what the differences are. So, we're going to take the heads off of each wand. And Universal. I gotta say, every time I take this apart, something falls out of here. I don't exactly know what it is if the inside of this has some metal shavings that are coming off. But this also looks a little tarnished at the top. So I don't, I don't really know what's going on with that. And I'm not sure if I really like it. Um, but... We will get to the weighing of the wands. It's kind of like, like the Triwizard Tournament, huh? They have to weigh the wands. It's part of the process. So, turn on my scale. Zero it out. We're gonna put it. We're gonna put it in pounds. Zero it back out. Zero pounds. Okay. So first off, we have Universal Studios. 0.840 Next we have Noble Collection 0.830 So they are about the same weight So we're going to take the cogs off of the wands Uni I mean this is Noble Collection 1.840 Universal Studios 1.90 So they're about the same. So we'll take the cogs from the Universal Studio wand 0 0.78 Take the cogs from the Noble Collection 0 0.78 Now this is where I really want to see a difference. So, I'm going to take the walking stick from Universal Studios. Five point forty. We're not touching anything. Five point forty. Let's take the one from Nova Collection. Like I said, this one looks bigger to me, so let's see. Seven point oh three. So this one is indeed an upgrade. It is bigger than the original. So I was right. This is, to me, the better quality wand. Okay, so I've gone into as much detail as I possibly can with these wands, comparing the Universal Studio with the Nova Collection. Again, they are they are one and the same, theoretically. Universal Studios sells Nova Collection products, but I bought this one strictly or straight from the source Nova Collection. One is the 2016, 
one is in 2018. But this video would not be complete. I have two wands, so that means we gotta take two different closer looks. Okay, so right off the bat, the wand itself, not the walking stick, but the wand itself is 18 inches. This is Elmwood Dragon Heart String Core. I want to give you as a detailed as closer look as I can. So we got the cogs right here. We got these. Keep in mind, this is solid steel. This thing is heavy. And if any of you have watched my videos, you know if it's heavy, it wins. We got the fangs right there. And the rubies, the green rubies for the Slytherin color. This thing is just amazing. I don't know what it is about it that makes me like it so much, whether it's the weight, whether it's the snake. I'm a skull guy myself, but just the sheer weight of this wand is unbelievable. And the fact that it's concealed inside of a walking stick. This walking stick is massive. I'll show you at the end exactly, just to compare it to a real person. And right here, we got the nice chrome tip so that you don't damage the walking stick. So when we come back over here, we have the 2016 Universal Studios Edition. Now, it doesn't look much different other than it's dirty. Like I said, I don't have any polish. But just the, the sheer... Oh, my God. I, I just can't explain how amazing this is until you actually see it in person. Uh, words cannot compare how amazing Lucius Malfoy's wand and walking stick is. So I don't know if you can kind of see a difference right there. Um, I did try to polish the wood up, and it, this is about as clean as I can get it. This one has scuffs and marks all over it. So as far as quality goes from the Universal Studios, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. And these are the two... 2016-2018 Lucius Malfoy Wand with Walking Sticks. All right, so just to give you guys a size comparison, I'm five foot eight, standing up perfectly straight. Bottom of my rib cage is down here. Goes up about two inches above the bottom of my rib cage. This is a perfect size walking stick, right? You just, it's perfect size for somebody my size, even taller, even shorter. And when you're walking around in the magical world, bah, bust out your wand. Nobody's known the wiser that you have your wand concealed inside your walking stick. That is, eventually, until you become known as the guy that has his wand concealed in his walking stick. Watch out for the guy with a giant snake head for the wand handle. Uh, but that being said, guys, this is the comparison video for the Lucius Malfoy Universal Studios versus the Noble Collection Wands. Like I said, they're one and the same, really. But one's from Universal Studios, and it's a 2016 model. The other one is from Noble Collection itself, straight from the source, a 2018 model. But I hope you guys love this comparison. I tried to do my best to compare both mods, take them apart, show you guys exactly how it works, and try to explain why this is my favorite wand. I, I, unless you have this wand in your hand, you will not ever know what it feels like to hold this wand, the feeling you get from holding this wand, the excitement you get looking at it, and just the all-around goosebumps you get for having Lucius Malfoy's wand, a piece of the magical world in your hand, in your home. But guys, until next time, I have plenty more videos to compare. I have more wands. Uh, anything that you might want to see, I might have it on my channel. Go search it. Click that subscribe button so that we don't miss anything. And until next time, everybody. Ah,